Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Jordi Matoma. I am 32 years old and I live in beautiful Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Um, so I'm an internet entrepreneur. Um, I run a few websites and I also sell on Poshmark. Um, I've been selling on Poshmark since October 2018, so seven or eight months now. And uh, I've been doing it by using third party services because I live in Canada and you're not supposed to sell to the US, but I found out ways to do it. Um, and then as of about three or four weeks ago, Poshmark came to Canada, so now I'm selling both to Americans and to Canadians. Uh, but on top of that, I also run some websites. One of the things that I run is called Shoutout Canada, and then there's a few divisions that I run. And another one is Edmonton Talks News. It's a media news website. And the final one is Alberta Missing Report. And what I do there is I create missing persons reports, and then I get them blasted across social media, and then get the word out about missing people in the province of Alberta. So I'll go ahead and show you guys some of my work and yeah, thanks for stopping by and let's check this shit out. Okay, so first off, this is my Poshmark account. Um, this is my American Poshmark account. So this is the one I had since October. And I've sold about 866 things. Not about, I sold exactly 866 things. And I made about $11,300 so far since October. And if you take a look here, this is my Poshmark uh, account, but it's for my Canadian neighbors. Um, as you can see here, it's .ca and then the other one was .com. So you do have to make two different accounts, but anyway. So that's my Poshmark. And then on top of that, I made a website, so Poshmark.club. And what it is, is uh, basically a knowledge hub for anything regarding Poshmark. So if you're trying to learn about Poshmark, this is a pretty good place for you to check out. Um, it's free. Everything's free, of course. Uh, if you look up here, so there's going to be Poshmark news. Well, there is some news already. And then I'll be making more news as the time goes. And then Poshmark videos, that's my YouTube channel. Poshmark facts, there's 50 facts, uh, questions and answers there. And then there's Knowledge Hub with even more stuff there. And then, yeah. Yeah, and there's more things here you can check out. So moving on, this here is my Instagram, um, but only for Poshmark. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, just regarding uh, Poshmark, this is my account here. So Posher, Posher Club is the uh, username. And then I also have another Poshmark account. I mean, uh, sorry, I another. I have also another Instagram account. There you go. So Jordi Matoma is my second uh, Posh, uh, Instagram account. And if you want to check it out, this is just my local photography. So, starting last year, 2018, I, I got heavily into photography, but unfortunately, this year, 2019, I've never, I didn't, I haven't been doing any photography because I don't have time to do it. So, but hopefully, I'll get back into that. And moving on, so this is my website for Shoutout Edmonton. Like I told you, I, I created Shoutout Canada, and basically, what it is, it's a, uh, an online anonymous community where you could submit messages to f your fellow Edmontonians and it'll get posted on the website as well as the Facebook page and Twitter account so that everybody can read it and uh, leave comments and anything like that. So these are all things that people have submitted. I didn't write any of these. Uh, there's been almost 15,000 messages that have been sent in since 2014 and yeah so that's Shoutout Edmonton, and then the other one I have is Shoutout Sudbury. So this is my hometown, this is where I'm from, this is where my family lives, my uh, immediate family. And yeah, this one has about 12,500 messages that have been sent in since uh, 2014 or 2015. So they're doing very well and I, I love everything about them. Yeah, I'll show you the, the categories that are available. So check this out, concerns, confessions, driving related, friendly reminders, heads ups, just saying, local news, looking for, lost and found, missing animals, missing people, needing help, positive reviews, prior post updates, questions, rants, shout outs, spotted, stolen property, thank you, venting, and word from the admin. So these are all the categories that you can choose, whichever one you want, except for a word from the admin, obviously. And then, so you just, you know, people just go here, submit a new post at the top, you get a new page with a form, they fill it out, 
and then I check it over and if it's good to go I approve it, publish it and it gets published on the website, the Facebook page and the Twitter account. There's about 25,000 followers on, on Shadow Sudbury on Facebook and Shadow Edmonton has about 28 or 29,000 or something like that. So they're both doing very well and I'm very excited about that. Oh, look, 37,000 followers, my mistake. Sorry, I couldn't think of the number off the top of my head. So yeah, 37,000 followers of Shadow Edmonton and 29,000 on Shadow Sudbury. So anyway, moving on. This is another one of my projects, Alberta Missing Report. And if you take a look at the website, it's alberta.missing.report. So what I like to do is I like to use the, before I even created this, uh, the name of this business, the way I, I come up with uh, business names for anything that I do is I actually check the domain name, like the URL, and see what is available first. And then I go from there. So it's kind of different from what you would think people would do. But anyway. So yeah, this is Alberta Missing Report, um, and basically it's, obviously as you can see, it's missing persons reports, and then I create these posters for the missing people, um, and then I blast it across social media. So this is just Alberta, and uh, there's 57 missing people active right now, which is very unfortunate, but uh, basically I'm trying to get Missing Report going across all of Canada. It was going across Canada and I did have people helping me out, but unfortunately this is no longer the case. Uh, I think there was like 15 people helping at one point and then we had divisions going across all of Canada's provinces and also all, every state in the US. And we even went as far as uh, every state or province in uh, Australia and even some uh, UK. But those are no longer running, unfortunately, and the only one that's running still is Alberta Missing Report, which is quite unfortunate. But there's nobody helping me anymore, so I can't, I can't run multiple uh, provinces or countries on my own. So if anybody's wanting to help me, that's great. Um, let me know. But yeah, that's another project. And then another one of my projects is Edmonton Talks News. So as you can see, I did it again. The business name is Edmonton Talks News, and the website the URL is edmonton.talks.news, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is my news website. Um, I mean, anybody can create a news website, and I decided to create one. Why? Because, I don't know, I didn't like how things were going with other news companies at the time, and uh, I think this was back in 2017, is when I started Edmonton Talks News. I haven't been updating it that often recently, and I actually did have other people, uh, other uh, editors and uh, writers that used to write articles for me, and I would pay them, you know, but that is no longer the case. I am now the only writer for Edmonton Talks News once again. And yeah, it's it's pretty great. I love how I could write whatever I want to write, and I try and appeal to my fellow Edmontonians and Canadians. And uh, yeah, see some it's pretty crazy. Some story like this one here. This got shared twenty one thousand eight hundred times. This one here about a Jollibee opening up in Edmonton, ten thousand nine hundred shares. So some of these actually get a lot of uh, attention, which is kind of exciting for me. But uh, anyway. So yeah, those are my projects, and then I also liked, I also started doing photography, like I showed you guys already, um, last year, 2018, and I just wanted to show you guys a bit of my photography work. So, mostly, these are all in Edmonton, and I took all these photos, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Ah, uh, it's not even loading. I really miss taking photography, I'm going to be honest. I haven't taken photography in quite a few months now. I really enjoy just going out and taking photos. And yeah, so that's going to be about it, I think you a few more I guess. Actually this one here is actually pretty exciting right here. So this is, uh, what hotel is this? This is the Delta Hotels by Marriott in Edmonton and I took a bunch of photos of their entrance and then um, what happened was Delta Hotels actually contacted me and then they asked me 
they, they can use the photos on their website and then they, they paid me by, well they offered a free, a free room for a night, but I didn't need that, so they, instead they offered a free meal at their, at their uh, restaurant. So I got a free meal at the restaurant for taking photos of their entrance and then they used it on their website. So for me and my ex-girlfriend. So that was pretty cool. And I think that's the only time I ever got paid paid for a photography that I took. Actually, I think I got paid for something else too. I can't remember off the top of my head though. my background right, right now as you can see so yeah that is basically it for the introduction video thanks a lot for stopping by I hope you liked what I have to offer um, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one